Ole Miss baseball, this is another uh, very deep team, another team with some really, really top-end pitching. I think for the showdown, I'm excited to see these pitchers. Um, Ole Miss really may be first among these teams, uh, although it's a lot. Tell me about the the Rebels. Yeah, I mean, look, Ole Miss is a team. They're coming into 2021 with monster expectations. quite frankly, national championship expectations in Oxford, which is saying a lot coming out of the SEC, which is a traditionally very difficult league, as we have all very well established at this point. Um, but look, I mean, there's good reason for it. Anytime that you have two guys that you feel like are going to get you to 2-0 and at the front of the weekend, uh, you feel pretty good about your chances. And, and Ole Miss has that in Doug Nikhazy and, and uh, Gunnar Hogland. So, you know, I mean, that, right off the bat, especially in a, in a, in a setting like – the showdown in Arlington against a field that is that that talented. If you have two guys that can go out, two horses like that, and you figure, and I don't even care what order they go, they may start with Hogland and then go to Nikhazy, but regardless, Ole Miss has to feel like that on Sunday they're 2-0, and they're looking to sweep the weekend, and if they do that with that field, that's going to basically make the announcement to all of college baseball that like they're very much for real. Uh, so, yeah, very excited to see both of those guys. You know, Nikhazy, like like many of us who are a little vertically challenged, uh, he he doesn't he's not going to beat you with his fastball. Not that his fastball is not adequate. I mean, he's a low nineties fastball guy, but he has a five pitch ar- arsenal. And dude, he has an absolutely cartoonish twelve six curveball. I mean, it's the laziest seventy mile per hour. Look, and when it when you're chasing ninety two with that, uh, that's, that creates a hell of a discrepancy for the hitter to have to figure out what's going on. Um, he's He's one of my favorite players in the country to watch. And then Hogland's a guy, first-round pick out of high school. Uh, Mike Bianco was reporting a mid-'90s fastball from him in the fall. Uh, his slider is just devastating. I mean, frankly, look, anytime I think I could probably still hit, then I just watch Hogland throw, just watch that slide yeah. piece, and then I'm good for the next several months. I don't think that anymore. Yeah, yeah it's, it's – it's, when you have that kind of top-end talent, it's you're dangerous – against anybody uh Ole Miss has has that and more uh head coach Mike Bianco had this to say uh we have 22 pitchers on our staff right now including a lot of veterans bring a lot of experience and ones we're going to count on a lot this spring he's saying that they got more than two guys right that they've got that the kind of pitching depth that would be the envy Uh, of any team looking at Omaha. Yeah, I mean, well, to be fair, I mean, every coach is feeling pretty good about the depth of their their pitching staff right now just because there are no roster limits, right? But um, I love Mike's confidence. And if they do, in fact, have 22 guys, 20 of which are complementary pieces to to Hoglin and Nikhazy, then then yeah, man, I mean, Ole Miss is a team that they'll be there. The thing with Ole Miss is like, you know, they got to score runs, right? So, you know, they, they lose their, their two best offensive weapons from a year ago and Anthony Servito and Tyler Keenan. How do you replace that? Well, Tim Elko is a great place to start. You know, he's a guy, 6'4", 230-pounder. He's going to slot in at third base. Um, he hit three fifty four last year. He slashed great, three home runs. And that's in 48 at bats. So, Elko is the hoss in the middle of that order. Now, that the question for Ole Miss is, again, replacing – arguably your two best offensive players from a year ago and finding ways to, to create runs because they don't have to create many. If they could just play a few every night that they got those two guys on, a, on, a, on the bump, they're going to be in good shape.